here in the south of France, final touches are being made to this research vessel, which is heading for a scientific expedition to the Atlantic Ocean. On board, crew members gather for a final inspection of Victor, a remotely operated underwater vehicle capable of operating at depths of up to 6,000 metres. Equipped with state-of-the-art technology, Victor produces high-quality videos and photos from the seabed that are then transmitted to the surface. It also has two mechanical arms which can carry out extremely delicate manoeuvres such as cutting or removing debris. Once all the elements are tested, the vehicle is lowered into the water for a final check. These videos were filmed at a depth of a thousand metres. They reveal a very different world and one that remains largely unexplored. Scientists say we know less about these places than the surface of the moon. Understanding how life develops at these depths is a key priority. At the French Institute for Ocean Science, minerals retrieved from the ocean floor are carefully examined. We have several types of minerals. So the minerals rich in zinc are those in grey here, and those rich in copper are here in yellow. Within these minerals, we also have some invisible elements, including cadmium and selenium. Today, cadmium is used in photovoltaic cells and in solar panels. These minerals are widely used in our day-to-day -day devices, such as electric batteries. However, knowing how much can be found on the seabed remains unknown. Finding one sample or piece of rock that's enriched with one element doesn't mean that the entire area will be rich of that particular element. It's a bit like going to the beach and finding a euro in the sand. It doesn't mean that there's 10,000 euros worth of coins scattered across that beach. Despite many unknowns, the race for deep sea mining is already underway. Several major countries are already involved, including China, Russia, Japan, India, Norway and Germany. Canadian-based firm The Metals Company has already set its sights on the business and carried out several mining trials on polymetallic nodules in the Pacific Ocean. What we have just on two of our contract areas is a sufficient amount of nickel, copper, manganese and cobalt to electrify one quarter of the world's passenger vehicle fleet. The world is going to need a lot more of these metals to decarbonize. However, deep sea mining raises many environmental concerns and there is growing debate as to whether it should be allowed. Back in France, this biologist is examining the different microorganisms found on the rocks sampled. In this sample, I'm looking at the microorganisms that are of interest to me. Some, for instance, can be found in here, such as this one. New microorganisms are constantly found on these rocks. The biologist fears that their exploitation could result in environmental damage and major loss of biodiversity. These nodules are already present at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Well, it's the slowest form of geological evolution on the planet. They take several thousand years to form, and some organisms live attached to these nodules. The presence of this hard substance is what allows life to survive in places where it usually would not be able to. There are fears that an entire ecosystem could be at risk. These videos show the damage caused by a deep-sea expedition some 25 years ago. Scientists fear that the industry could turn into yet another threat for our oceans.